Hey guys, it's Friday afternoon. It's about 2.35 here. I just got off of Zoom. And guys, we have another one for the Freedom Strategies at 4 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. If you'd like that, I'll put my email down below. I'm your faith and financial person. And um, I'm just going to play this because um, this has a little bit of an update. It's about three minutes. I'm going to let you listen to this and then I'll get the other summary loaded. There's not much in terms of news today. If you watched my last video that I did based on Mr. Sandman, this is what Sandman wanted us to hear today. There's not much in terms of news over there. Everything's quiet, which tells you a lot, right? So go ahead and listen to this. I'm just going to let it play so you can hear it. I'll shut up. I'll let you listen to this while I pull up the other thing, okay? It's good news. Listen. And Foreign Minister Fuad saying articulated Iraq's aspiration to reclaim its natural position in both the regional landscape and the broader international community. These declarations underscore Iraq's earnest efforts to emerge from the shadows of its tumultuous past characterized by years of conflict and economic instability. This article delves into the implications of Deputy Prime Minister Fuad. Hussein's remarks particularly for investors in the Iraqi dinar and examines the potential trajectory of Iraq's economic resurgence, Iraq's quest for global integration. Deputy Prime Minister Fuad Hussein's assertion regarding Iraq's endeavor to occupy its natural position in the international community encapsulates the country's ambition to reintegrate into the global arena. This aspiration extends beyond mere rhetoric. It symbolizes AA's determination to shed its image as a nation marred by strife and turmoil. Central to this vision is the revitalization of Iraq's economy, which serves as the bedrock for its reintegration efforts. The significance of a tradable currency for investors in the Iraqi dinar. Deputy Prime Minister Fuad Hussein's emphasis on the importance of a tradable currency holds significant implications. The mention of the international community under SCS the global dimension of Iraq's economic aspirations. A tradable currency actively traded on platforms like the Forex is essential for Iraq to effectively engage with the global economy. Moreover, a stable and viable currency is indicative of Iraq's economic resilience and credibility in international financial markets. Prospects of WTO accession, Iraq's imminent announcement into the World Trade Organization, WTO, heralds a crucial milestone in its economic trajectory. Accession to the WTO signifies Iraq's commitment to adhering to international trade norms and standards. Moreover, it represents a strategic move towards fostering greater economic cooperation and integration with the global community. The prospect of WTO accession augurs well for investors, signaling Iraq's progressive stance towards economic reform and liberalization restoring the exchange. Rate a symbol of economic renewal. Deputy Prime Minister Fuad Hussein's reference to restoring the exchange rate resonates deeply with investors, particularly those holding Iraqi dinars. The notion of restoring implies a return to a previous state. Evoking memories of Iraq's Uru status is one of the world's most valuable currencies investors. Keenly anticipate at the revival of the dinar to its former glory, with speculations hovering around a potential value surpassing three Calculating the potential impact, drawing upon historical data, the speculation surrounding a potential exchange rate of $3 or higher gains traction. Deputy Prime Minister Fouad Hussein's mention of $322 in 1991, adjusted for inflation, underscores the, the plausible rationale behind such projections. A hypothetical rate of $725 today fuels investor optimism painting a picture of unprecedented prosperity and abundance on the horizon. Implications for investors. For investors in the Iraqi dinar. Deputy Prime Minister Fuad Hussein's remarks offer valuable insights into the potential trajectory of their investments. The emphasis on economic reforms restoring the exchange rate and Iraq's integration into the global economy signals a favorable outlook. However, prudent assessment and cautious optimism are advised. Considering the inherent risks associated with speculative investments, Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Fuad Hussein's vision for Iraq's economic revival encapsulates the nation's aspirations for prosperity and abundance, from the quest for global integration to the anticipation of a revived exchange rate. Investors in the Iraqi dinar closely monitor these developments, while the road ahead may be fraught with challenges. 
Deputy Prime Minister Fuad Hussein's unwavering commitment to Iraq's economic resurgence instills confidence in the country's prospects for a brighter future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates. Wow. Wasn't that good? So what do you think of that? Comment down below. Now, that was an AI-generated report. I got to say, they're using AI to generate the latest news, which is up to them. That's how they want to do their channel. He was there to introduce it. So, you know, you decide which channels you want to support. Somebody who works really hard to, you know, be here or there. So, um, Mark Z said via PDK, rumors from every corner of the blogosphere, they are saying the CBI has released rates to the government of Iraq and Iraq has released those to all the central banks in the world, including the U.S. And that everything is locked and loaded. That is the chatter. So keep your prayers up there, guys. If you're fasting and praying with me till tomorrow, through tomorrow, it's working. Uh, Pimpy said auctions are not about dumping the dollar. Currency auctions are held for a reason. They take the U.S. dollar and sell them to banks. Yep, I talked about the remittances in my thing yesterday. If you didn't see it, I talked about what a remittance is and what that means. You know, and so he say that's how they're able to build up their foreign currency. Not only that, but it helps stabilize. The, the, this is about... He said he doesn't think they're they're really de-dollarizing. So whatever. Uh, Frank 26, Iraq boots on the ground, Firefly. In summary, Firefly's bank friend is telling him the parallel market is very soon to be non-existent. Frank, if the parallel market is gone, then that means we don't have a program rate. And then uh, Mountain Goat, uh, an article said, the finance committee responds to the U.S. sanctions, let us sell oil in currencies other than the dollar. Quote, imposing sanctions on Iraqi banks would undermine and obstruct this takes the steps taken by the central bank to adjust the stability of the dollar exchange rate and reduce the selling gap between the official and parallel rates. The truth finally comes out. This is what is causing the inability of the CBI to take the necessary sh steps to adjust the stability of the dollar exchange rate. If they, the CBI, did this diversification, it would adjust the parallel rate very quickly and then dot, dot, dot. Frank 26, the month of January was a month to implement, restore, complete the monetary mechanism that's being used to add value to the Iraqi, di di to add value to the Iraqi dinar. He goes, that's what I sincerely felt January was all about. Militiaman said, we all know the process is amazing. Article quote, the central bank governor says, we prevented banks and companies from obtaining the dollar and the work on the electronic platform will end during the current year. He didn't say the end of the year. He said it's going to be during the current year. The electronic platform is where you get the dollar that goes into the parallel market, which is smudged out of the country. A smuggled out of the country. He's going to cease that. Could that come at any time? That very well could come at any time because tomorrow it is during the current year. I believe Iraq is on a mission. Walking stick. All these meetings that the CBI had with all these agencies that were helping them with their monetary reform are done. All the things that Akai, Iraq, Iraqi bank friend had to do in order to qualify to exchange the three zero notes into American dollars is done. International platforms that were needed in order to do electronic transfers is also done. Um, Reuters article, Iraq's Katabi Hezbollah says it suspends attacks on US forces. Iran aligned Iraqi armed group Katib Hezbollah announced on Tuesday the suspension of all its military operations against the U.S. troops in the region. It's a decision aimed to prevent embarrassment of the Iraqi government, the group said. Guys, everything is in place. They are steady. They are stable. Let's just pray this thing in. Uh, a lot of us are fasting and praying for this first three days of the month of February. So what do you think? Please comment down below. Please subscribe and tap the bell. I'm excited. We just hit 29,000 as a family. Please join me for coffee and conversations. And I believe I'm going to do a Margaritas and Mysteries tonight. Stay tuned for that. But please put some of your dreams and goals down below. Like what's your favorite place? Do you want to have a beach? I want a beach place. I'm freezing. I've been freezing. My husband just got me two new hats. Look at this. It's kind of funny. These came in today. <laughs> could, you, could you see me in this hat with the little things? Probably. <laughs> That's funny. The squirrel jumped on the thing. I lost the feed. I lost my internet during my Zoom. I mean, guys, things always go a little crazy right before the blessings. So if you believe it's time and it is done, put it is done down below. Put God is great down below if you're a fellow believer in Christ. And let's just glorify God through my channel in Jesus' name. May peace and prosperity always be in your house. Talk to you later. Bye.